Well hello there guys, Medieval Squirrel here with part 32 of our Mead campaign for Thrones of Britannia and we're going to pick things up where we left them last time. So, we now need to clear this army away from a Abrefti, uh, so we're going to go and slaughter them like we did on the Bridge of Death. So, let's save in case of a crash, we're not going to night attack, we want all of our reinforcements coming in and let's do this ourselves. Now, we want to take as few casualties as possible whilst inflicting maximum damage against this entire army, literally wiping it out if possible, uh, because they've got another force that's currently blockading the town and we can't have that. Basically, we, we can't have that. We don't want fog. Dry will do. Uh, they're deploying over here, so what we want is we want our skirmish cav uh, very visibly over here. Uh, we want probably the general over here. We've got some heavier units coming in. And let's have our front line sort of here-ish with javelins right behind. And all of these in as well. And yeah, that'll do. Pull those up. Keep your cavalry in reserve. Pull them there. We want all of our enemy to sort of pull over this way so that we can take this hill. Okay, they're not doing it. Skirmish Cav, up over there, make ourselves look very, very visible. Right, your garrison, your garrison, your garrison, so are you, let's run away. And withdraw all of those as well. And, and you. Right, these two can be in a group on their own, so let's call that group eight. Let's come over here. We want to take command of the high ground, if possible. So let's try and bait them to come over here. They've only got one unit of missile troops, so that's good for us. Okay, there's all of these guys. Let's run away. Okay, they can be group four. They're going to form here before pushing forward to the hill. Try and clear them away. Those guys can run. Good. So we'll come and form up over here. We want to try and get the two armies united in their front. Uh, you can disappear, please. Don't want you. Okay, they can form there, and they can form up behind, and those two can join the heavy cav group. Our heavy horse can form up over here. Pull all the horsemen away. Right, let's move spears to here, those to there, and archers behind. Let's take them off of skirmish mode. Take those guys off of skirmish mode, and we'll pull the war dogs there-ish. I'm gonna kind of herd them in like sheep. Fast forward a smidge. Now, because they're the defender, they're not really gonna move anywhere, they're just gonna kind of react to us. Gives us time to get into position. I hope. Well, that force there. Advance to here with that force. This group can advance this way. Try and get up the hill. Try and poke them to come this way. Every horse can... 
reform in those trees. All of this force, just push your way through to the top of the hill. And then advance with the center. This lot can all just try and advance there. Heavy horses ready in the hills and the trees, sorry. Cool, are they coming for us yet? Nope. Okay, all forming up over there. We are actually killing off the general's unit. Spearmen, pull up front. Pull that way. Spearmen over there. Pull up behind. Bowmen all fire into over there. Form the front line. Pull up onto the side. Onto the side. Make a castle. Which is over this way. Pull those guys up on the flank. And all of these over here as well. War doggos. Can pull this way. You two units into those horsemen. Are we? Yeah, we are still shredding the royal companions over there. Heavy horse, out you come. You guys in there. You guys up to there. You guys in there. And bring those around on the flank. You guys press forward. All of those archers can now fire in at the male sakes there. Go and kill them. Our men run from the enemy. This is shameful. Right, one company go after those archers. Bring all of these guys round and onto the flank. Spearmen round there. How many have we lost? Quite a few. Where's the heavy horse when you need it? Alright, those guys carrying over there. Bring those spearmen round here, those spearmen round here. Kill off those archers. Now into the back of those militia. Right, form up over here. You guys in over here. Continue to kill off that bloody general. Coming down here. You guys, why don't you shred those axemen? Heavy horse into the back of here. Alright, move those guys over. Actually, move those guys over here. And get into the back of them. Do a rally. Could probably charge after those guys now. All of you just fire into the back of that group there. Wolfhounds, in you go. Managed to take out most of the royal companions without actually fighting them as they would want. Okay, heavy horse is just blasting through all of this now. Okay, and they are breaking. I think that is pretty much army loss. Yes. Just run down a couple of them. There we go. Decisive victory. We lost a lot of men. 668. So, we weren't as effective as we probably could have been but i mean let's be completely honest they've been slaughtered 
they have pretty much nobody left. We killed four times, or almost four times, our number of deaths. And we're just going to replace our units there. War is what we do best. And there we go. Slaughtered. My reputation right, let's bring growing. that force back over here. And then you can level up, so let's give you a bard for replenishment. The men are eager to get to it. And they're all going to replenish up as well now. Which is good. And then we can jump over here. Our bravery is legendary. I mean, that's just an auto-resolve, isn't it? Yep, everyone still standing. Good. And then we can go for... All of that. And some more archers. Good. Now, where to? You can I think if we pull to here, we can get the replenishment and then these two forces together can go out and hit the Thunder Swords. I think that's the best idea so far. Down in the south, let's take the King's Warband. They're going to run away. Little weasels. Nobody beats Flam. Uh, and then from here, we're going to hit um, Ethendon. And recruit a new army. This guy. And he can head back over here. Now, this guy can hit Southampton. He can hit Silly Osage. Uh, oh, we've got somebody here. Uh, you can head over this way then. You can hit there and then turn around. You guys are doing exactly what you're meant to be doing. Eva here. You can head to here. You can head to here. That army is taking attrition by the looks of it. Uh, can't do it just yet, but we're going to take that. And I think... Uh, oh, I don't care about that. Yep, let's move on. Right then. Ah, there we go. All Occupado. Right. That's right, Wessex. Run away. Why on earth are you running towards me? Probably the stupidest thing you could have done. <laughs> well, can't have to now, don't we? Yeah, let's uh, let's wipe the floor with them. Right, it is rather foggy. That's fine. Mouse is going all over the place. Let's pull back to here, where our reinforcements are going to come in. And we'll go for a layered attack, and we'll just blitz our way through them. You can be on the flank a little bit. And have those over here. Start the battle. Charge to the rear of an enemy formation can be devastating. Keep your cavalry in reserve. Right, let's see what we get. Hammer the flank or rear of the enemy. Of course. Okay. Why not? Let's get to it. Bring it up. Okay, you can move to there. You guys move there, and anyone that is massively damaged, like you, you can all run away, like so. Ah, oh, your spearmen. There we go. Form up in front. Now. 
And they can form up in the center. Okay, more units coming in. Good. Uh, you can join that group. Like so. Okay, all of you join that group. You can join over here. Okay, I think we are ready. Here we go. We'll start advancing in a minute. When you have lots of men, you need to advance along a very long line. So, we have numerical superiority by a significant margin. Let's rotate ourselves round. Use that rock as a linchpin. And then we probably won't advance, to be fair. Uh, off skirmish. Probably not much point advancing. Okay, those over here. Form all the way along here again. Alright, pull these guys back then. <laughs> oh god. Up we go. Descend upon into them. Alright. Flank round on that side. Prepare all of these to advance to about there. The through to here. You guys come round on the flank. General's unit over here. You guys will push up into those. Turns fire over there. Let's, get to it. Let's go and charge into their heavy horse over here. To Let's get to it. Those four Let's units come out. Come out this way. Come that way, we just want to collapse everything here. Right, all of the cavalry pull out over there. Heavy or light horse doesn't really matter. Two more units across here, please. Uh, let's pull that unit of spears out. Pull them down in there. Up that way. All of you shoot at that Royal Companions. Alright, they are shooting at us, but that's fine. Now back and round into the archers. And out. Now over here. And now go and get those archers. Okay, Royal Companions are down to 48. In you go. All of this flank just descend upon them there. And not you. Right. Heavy Cav, out you come. Don't really want to be going into tango with those guys. That would be very bad. You two units into the flank there. Do 
do they? Oh, what a shame. Now charge. Pull up over here. Descend upon them. Pull over here with those guys. Starting to get a little bit laggy. I think this is a lot of death. So let's just have a quick shot of the enemy general getting run down. There goes his general's unit. Look at that. Cream of the crop. Yeah, run down as many of them as possible. Don't want any of them getting away. Mailed Thanes need to die. Take a company over here. Well, not over. Oh, that's not really worth it, is it? There we go. I think that should stop pretty much the entire army now from coming back. Uh, lost 416, killed 1985. Good kills all round. Well, reasonable kills all round. 24 is not good kills. Or is 22, but I mean, they are kerns. What do you expect? Yes, goodbye. Take the replenishment, please. And now we can move out. <laughs> oh, that just makes it so easy. Worthy Bride, Hell to the No. An independent merchant vessel brings disturbing news to the Royal Court. Hundreds of ships carrying thousands of men have been seen amassing in the harbours of our distant neighbours. These navies appear to be more than just simple raiding force. They could even be building up for a full-blown invasion. Perhaps they have no interest in the Isles, but we should prepare for the worst. Well, I think we're pretty much prepared. There we go. Do a team. Thank you. Uh, Porchester. Let's take that army to Southampton. And occupy. Because we only really need to hold the Irish part of the British Isles. I'm not really worried about most of England, to be honest. Pair that. This guy can head over here to Sainsburg. Occupado. Because um, most of this we've just sort of picked up along the way. Uh, let's go to there. Occupy. Where's the fight? None shall stand. Remove him there and then in camp. This army, if it wants to come after us, it can. This fleet needs to get into a Brefo. Should have been there last turn, but kind of got held up. Could go for Warwickham. We've got the rest of the province. Let's come down here then. Fear us to victory. And next turn we'll bring them out and they can go there as well. Uh, over here. None shall stand against us. He needs to start moving south because if that army comes after us much more we're going to lose territory and that. It's just not acceptable. Uh, he's got lots of champion. Okay, Bard, let's start going for replenishment. General... Champion. And Quartermaster. Yeah, that's fine. We'll serve well. 
over here. The men are eager to get to it. Up to battle! Right, let's come over here with this force. For the glory of the gales. And let's get some more troops. Because pretty soon we're going to have that invasion on our hands. Ab Tin Hor. Good. Don't need anything else there. Hmm. Need another force. Go for this guy. He can come over to the Isle of Wight. Now the reason I'm recruiting so many of them is this guy is not actually going to do anything. He's just going to sort of raid the province. The rest of them are going to go around and collect things. We want to build legitimacy, so we're going to start raiding. Is pretty much all we can do for legitimacy. Uh, this guy can come down here. And there we go. He can now come back towards Ned. We, we could probably push out with this force, but... It's going to be easier if we don't. Get rid of that. Uh, leave that as it is for a minute. And go in here. I mean, that's just a straight up auto resolve, isn't it? Done a lot of sieges recently, so if they're that um, auto resolvable, I'll just do it. We're not going to bring back Merce because they kind of joined our enemies last time. Uh, mint, no. Repair. Repair. Mm. Yeah, go on, repair it. Uh, and it means this army can now move this way to the bridge. Because it can set up the Siege of Manchester. And then Otomigil. And we've got all of that province as well. And that will give us most of the north. Now we're kind of lucky. Because although we've come down this far. We can just pull back to Winchester. Let's, uh, let's get rid of that quickly. We can just pull back to Winchester with this force. And let Sussex and Wessex take the brunt of the invasion from the south. Uh, our only concern is going to be the invasion of the north, which, to be honest, is a little bit of a concern, but we can just throw some more troops up there, it's fine. That tree. Uh, bard. Brayton has a damaged building. Oh, okay, yep, yeah. I gotcha. Uh, no. Let's end the turn. Okay, they've decided to go for Duggany. That is fine. The heir's warband should be able to sort that out. Okay, someone died, that's fine. This army... They've got one turn before they run out of supplies and start attritioning. Uh, right. Right then, go and take Ned. Occupy, lovely. Sort out some of this. He... Needs a governor scribe. Uh, you are a raider pillager, and you're going to come and take Totanese. Uh, settlements minus one. 
I lost two that turn. It's no good. Uh, you're also a general. Ah, but you're a raidy general. Come to there and raid for me so you can have pillager. So can't take Chippenham just yet. And raid there as well. Now we're talking. Uh, we're just going to go and settle into the siege over here. Uh, we'll just continually build tons of siege equipment. Just while it's going down. King can hit. Yeah, we'll hit Bath. Opens up. Tons of land for us. No, we don't want that. Ten public order. That does look good. Up in the north. He can't quite get back, but this force... I think we should be able to do this. Yeah, I mean, we can auto-resolve that one. Yeah, just goodbye to the Dragon Slayers, the Army of the North. And we'll repair that and repair that. So we're going to wrap up the part here. But as you can see, Wessex is so far on the back foot, it can't see the front foot. Um, we've got two armies raiding now, which should start... Oh, we haven't done the Midlands. What are we doing? How good is the auto-resolve there? Right, so we should be able to take that without reinforcing it, in theory. So we'll move this army up. What's it got? Wood. It has wood. Uh, actually, we'll just sit there and replenish up, because we're going to need the extra armies around to deal with everyone else. So what we'll do is we'll throw this army at Manchester. We'll bring this army up to support. Won't be able to replenish, but that's fine. Chester itself can level up. And then this is where we're going to wrap up the part. Right, so all we need to do now is conquer this bit and this bit. And Wessex is gone. Um, they've got some territory up here, but we're also we're we're taking that now, pretty much. Uh, that army that came down from the north, that's probably because uh, Jürgen Oglid, the Scottish faction, kind of did off with them. They properly did a number on them. We are going to get invasions. If I remember correctly from my Wessex campaign, it's here, here, and here. I think. Yeah, it's got to be. Uh, which means that we are in a reasonable position to repel it. If we put this army back at Linda Siege. Our is okay, so I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Check out the videos that should be appearing on your screen around about now. Check out my Facebook for any updates or uh, my schedule. Uh, don't forget to check out my Twitch as well. We're going to be live streaming um, some Planet Side 2, some Banner Lord, and some uh, Warhammer 2 Empire campaign. And see you next time. Bye for now.